Inside Here was there for a second. Here comes another push from Kyle Busch on an outside. Even here. Cinder can't get too far out. Coming, Coming to turn to three where it all came undone last year on the final lap. Briscoe's out. He can't get to... The Austin Sendrick, whose grandfather won the run. Indy 500 as a car owner. Sendrick is going to bring them to the line way up high to block Ryan Blaney. And at the line, Sendrick beats Bubba Wallace by half a car length. And they crash going into turn one. <laughs> this race never disappoints. No, it does not. And David Reagan found one he couldn't miss. Austin yeah. Sendrick, the winner of the Daytona 500. Lost that point of no return, and you're right. Brazil is backed out. About five car lengths back now from that number 11 private label team hype machine. Two laps to go as they cross the line. Two miles left to decide this race. Gerhard gets out of the way. Trainer will be thanking his lucky stars. Very nice driving there from Laura Gerhardt, and you're absolutely right. I think uh, Brandon Trader owes Laura Gerhardt a steak dinner after that one because that's exactly what he needed to potentially take this home. He's got one more lap. He's got... Connor Harrington closing as fast as he can, but I think he's got just enough here. Half a lap to go. Several cautions have disrupted the flow of this race. It's been difficult to pass for the lead, but Connor Harrington has harangued Brandon Trano to the best of his abilities. Seven days after disaster for Brandon Trano, he bounces back with victory in the desert. He conquers the Phoenix Raceway and wins. Into three for the final time, even coming off four. Bowman edges ahead, clears Larson. Alex Bowman wins Las Vegas. You've got the field in your hands. You get to go for it. This is going to be a two-lap challenge like you have never seen. It's time to bring the action at the Indianapolis 500. Here we go. Who's going to do it? Great restart, Erickson. Phenomenal jump from the number eight. Look at him swerving, trying to break the track. Rosenquist. Now, to Rosenquist and I want on the inside. Tony Kanan is not going to let that happen. Kanan to the high side on the dirty track. Kanan hangs on. And side-by-side -side action is what Marcus Erickson wants to see, but Pazzo Award is now in lockstep. He's going to have a great draft down the back straight, but Mark is trying to break it. They know that there is only one lap to go. When they come to the yard of bricks, they'll see the white flag. It's a Swedish snake on the back stretch trying to break the draft. What does Erickson do on the front stretch? Here comes Award with a run. Neither of these two in the front have won mark. the Indy 500. There Point is flag. two and a half miles to go. And Award is on the attack. No here comes Pedro. Erickson won't Inside. let it happen. Clear, clear. Phenomenal Four driving from both men. I don't know if Award's going to be able to gather it back up. That might have been his big chance. They exit two and go to the back stretch. Erickson leads no by five car lengths. Erickson has shaken off the challenge of the Aaron McLaren SP. In real crash, ball driving. Crash in turn two. Yellow's out. out. It'll finish under caution. It's Sage Karam. Marcus Erickson with the spirit the of Ronnie Peterson on board with his helmet joins Kenny Brack as the only other Swede. Did it, buddy. You just won the Indy 500. Marcus Erickson wins the Indianapolis 500. In Look at the damage on Chastain on the outside. Harvick knows he's going to get to them. And here comes Kyle Busch to the outside. What a move. Kyle Busch trying to steal another one. Teammates. Busch and Hamlin. Stenhouse to the bottom. Harvick up top. Holding strong. Cannot let him up. Coming to the white flag. White flag, no help. Into one drag. Next flag ends the race. Man, Denny oh, drove it up oh, in there. Gonna... Same thing, just like early in the race. Kyle Busch gets loose on the outside. Power move by Denny Hamlin. He's got no help by two. By... The longest and one of the most exciting Coca-Cola 600s ever comes down to the final corner. Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, teammates at Joe Gibbs Racing.
and they come to the line. Hamlin wins by two car lengths. What a race. And Joseph Newgarden coming to the white flag. Ryan Hunter Ray, a three-time winner. Same as Joseph Newgarden. He's got a chance to top him here today. What a terrific drive. Got the jump on his teammate when it counted and then just managed this thing. Through three and four, Joseph Newgarden can climb within whispering distance of the championship. Win number four in the season. Win number four in Iowa. Joseph Newgarden wins the first half of the high V IndyCar weekend. Top lane again. I thought it really worked for him the one time. Maybe, obviously, he has a different opinion. He's been running a little bit lower. Now just two laps to go. A little bit of lap traffic. Keep working that. A little bit of lap traffic in front of them. You hope they will just kind of get out of the way. Ty on the bottom of the racetrack. Noah gave him every bit of opportunity to go down there. Good run right here. But that outside lane, just more momentum down the straight. Pulls away just a bit. Three car links now. Separate the two cars. What a great race. The two wins for Noah Gregson this year. One came at Phoenix, the other at Talladega. Mentioned Ty Gibbs and his four wins. Las Vegas, yep, Las Vegas, Atlanta, Richmond, and then most recently, Road America. Yeah, that angle, Rick, almost looks like the nine is running a little higher, taking that line away. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Can he do it again? Can it be a last lap pass for Ty Gibbs? Or will Noah Gregson hold on and get his third win of 2022? Oh, big, big run. run. Right here. Noah it's went to the very here. bottom it's right inside, there. Inside you and him. Did not Still work. Inside you and him. Now, as they get ready to go into the tunnel turn, Ty Gibbs on the inside, Gregson on the outside. Who will give? Gregson on the other side gets back in front of Ty Gibbs. What a move through turn two. The final turn. Gibbs' his last chance. Gregson all the way down to the bottom of the turn. And he has four car links over Ty Gibbs. It's Noah Gregson winning at Pocono. <laughs> Way to go, Noah. So proud of you, buddy. We did it, man. Outside. Noah had to go low to try to block that seven. That's going to give the 54 the top and the momentum down the front straightaway. Here comes Ty Gibbs into second place. One more time around in stage number two. Big momentum out of Ty Gibbs chasing after that nine of Noah Gregson. Noah back to the middle of the track. Ty Gibbs to the top. Ty Gibbs is going to have the speed. Oh, got Ty got tight off turn two. Loss of speed. Now the seven of Algar alongside him. Side drafts the 54. Allgaier now up to second. Noah Gregson coming out of turn number four. He sees the white and green checkered flag, and he's going to win oh, stage big two. Oh, contact for second. Big contact between the 7 and the 54. Now that was big at this race. Well, and it actually working with Christopher Bell. Somebody going to move down and try to utilize his push. I think it's right here going into turn three. Big run coming. Here it comes. There it is. Oh, Ross, Ross Chastain, Chastain went for it. That might have been William Byron's best friend. And that sends Blaney backwards as Chastain. Comes up to 30. Oh, here we go. Second. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One this Bank. Exactly he wants what William Byron side. wants. Side by side behind him. Oh, oh. Bubba Wallace and Blaney. Blaney into the wall with Frisco. Here comes no a problem. run. The one of Ross Chastain. You're going to have to block. Oh, below the white line there by Christopher Bell. They're racing side by side. Perfect scenario for William Byron. There's going to be a massive run coming off this one car. Four. Byron top to bottom. Hugs that white line, drifts up and comes to the line. He oh. wins it as Busher, Haley have a hard crash into the wall. He may lose second to Hosevar. Hosevar now to the inside of Zane Smith for second, but that's just what Ryan Priest wants to see. He wants to see those two battling. It's going to be Ryan Priest going back to back at Nashville. 
outside. Does he have an opportunity here? He had to check up, and that's going to give an opening for Del Porto around the outside. Could Del Porto make the move work all the way up towards the top? He has to dive back to the bottom of the racetrack. Can he get the cutback, get that pace? It's going to be the white flag out on the racetrack right here for the US 500. Del Porto up to the top side. We've got them four wide into turn number one on the last lap of the event. The US 500 here. Del Porto looking high, uh, and, and Pinheiro gets cut off by Musselman. It's now Mark Murphy into the lead on the back straightaway. Yeah, as we come down the back straightaway for one last time, uh, Musselman takes the lead, uh, but uh, will he be able to hang on to it coming out of three? Three wide, almost four wide. Once again, through turns number three and four, it's two wide now. Off of four, it looks like it's Pinheiro. Is it Murphy? It's Pinheiro. It's Murphy. Who's going to win? Off the line. It's so close. By three one hundreds, it's Pinheiro. 17 goes to the outside, gets a look, tries to get a run. Will this be the lap that Vitor can turn the trick? Setting him up, having a look. Make it happen. Look at you go, baby. Look at this happen. Out of turn number four, right, Mira takes there a look go. at Scott Good Sharp job. at the line. Scott Sharp, number eight, the first win this season. The first win for Scott Sharp since Motegi Japan in 2003, 41 races ago. What an amazing... Driving the car behind him, trying to make dirty air for Award. Award's got a great run. He might get to the front. They Big almost run. hit. They almost hit the front two. You want to talk about crowding, that was the case in point. Bottom Award getting right up beside the number two of Joseph Newgarden. Not trying to give him an inch more than he needs. Trying to force that lift right now. Bull drivers flat out. The spotters are working overtime right now, Townsend. And these are two very clean race drivers. Make it three as Alex Pelot wants to mix it up once again. But Award hanging high. But he's using up those tires up on the slipperier surface. Looks like oh, Grosjean crashed. Grosjean. Romain Grosjean out for the second race in a row. Oh. In the closing phases. And Joseph Newgarden is leading as the yellow comes out with two to go. They're coming to get the white. Guys, that might be the day. That will be the day. Final lap in the PPG 375 is the PPG. Head, pick up your leader, Matt Wagner. White flag is in the air. One lap to go. About a mile from now, Matt Wagner can see another Ezra IndyCar Series championship. It was a valiant effort by James Watson, but it's going to come up short. Schwinn checkers in the air. Matt Wagner is your winner and your champion of the Ezra IndyCar Series. Dylan on the bottom slides up right to the tail of the five. Here they come for the checkered flag. Kyle Larson keeps that surfboard trophy in California. Man, what a race, and you can't really say enough about Austin Dillon, uh, Jones, and Suarez. I mean, I don't think anybody would have picked Kyle Larson. Been running right up against the wall. Oh, and the 33 is into the wall. Austin Dillon gets into the wall after running right up against it. He gets into the wall. The 42 is going to go by for the lead. Larson looking for his third career win. Larson will win in Miami. And Chris Busher, final time through three and four. His dreams are going to come true. Chris Busher will win the title for the Xfinity Series. He did it.